don't stand a chance against you. You don't know anything about fighting. You'll be killed. I want a progress. How are the chariots? Ever since our old leader Ehud died, things have gone from bad to worse. Judge Ehud had guts. He wouldn't let any of our fellow Israelites worship those disgusting gods of Canaan. Now, everywhere you look, our people are acting like heathens. It's no wonder God has allowed us to be tormented for 20 years by that miserable king from Hazor. King Jabin. I know our sins are terrible, but we've begged the Lord to forgive us. How long will he wait to send a leader to rescue us? That's what I've been telling you. I think it's already happened. Have you seen her? Not yet. Any news from the outlying villages? Jabin's general sister led another raid just a few days ago. I hear he has chariots made of iron. Ooh. And he shows mercy to no one, not even women or children. Ooh. Hey, who's that? That's her, the one I've been telling you about. I think she's going to be the next leader of Israel. She already judges over legal disputes, and I hear she receives messages from God himself. What's her name? Her name is Deborah. Hail King Jabin, servant of Baal. And master of men. Never forget that, Sisera. I want a progress report. How are the chariots coming? We have 900 chariots under my command, sire. There are more being built as we speak. Good. Send additional troops to Tayanak and Megiddo. I want the trade route from Egypt to Mesopotamia under my control at all time. Sire, I have some disturbing news. News of a sensitive nature. <laughs> Sire, I've heard rumblings from other leaders in the Alliance. The Israelites have become restless. They want to break free of your grip. Their numbers have grown very large. They could become a threat. A threat? Without swords or spears? They're no match for my war machine. They'll be under my control until the day they die. Granted, sire, but their general, Bayrak, does have the following in the military skill to challenge us if he ever saw the opportunity. Bayrak will not become a problem to us or to anyone else because he lacks one thing all great leaders possess, courage. I want 1,000 chariots ready for battle in 30 days, and Bayrak will not a problem. Do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. You have your orders, Cicero. You are dismissed. Mayrez, how may the servant of the Lord help you? This man possesses stolen property. He has taken four of my best sheep. I didn't take nothing. I was trading with the Kenite who was passing through. Besides, how do I know you didn't sell them to the Kenite and now you want them back so you can sell them all over again? 
I don't do business with the double crossing Kenite. These sheep belong to me. They bear my mark. I have witnesses to back up my testimony. God gave the law to our father Moses on Mount Sinai. He gave us the law so we would act in love and mercy towards one another. The law is very clear. Possessing stolen property is wrong regardless of how he came about it. Raal has two witnesses that confirm his story. But you have brought no one, Mayrez. It's obvious that the mark is his and therefore the sheep belong to him. I'm sorry you lost valuable goods to the Kenite, but the price of sin always costs more than it gives in return. In the name of Yahweh, you are to return the sheep. If he will just give me back two of them, I'll let him keep the others. You do that for me? Love and mercy for those who need it. Hug. Good grief. Deborah continued to judge her people with wisdom and righteousness, and the hand of the Lord was upon her. One day, God gave her a vision that would ensure the deliverance of her people from the hand of Jabin. I need you to find Barak, son of Abinoam. He, he's from Kadesh in Naphtali. Tell him the Lord God has a message for him. Yes, I'll go right away. why you brought me here. Yahweh has a message for you. He says, I command you to gather 10,000 men from the tribes of Zebulun and Naphtali and gather them at Mount Tabor. I will then lure Sisera, the commander of Jabin's army, into the Kishon Valley below. There, I will help you destroy them. Let me get this straight. You called me all the way from Kadesh to send me on a suicide mission? No one wants to destroy the Canaanites more than I. For 20 years, they've broken our backs with whips and hard labor. But Sisera has 900 iron chariots. He has swords, spears, shields, weapons we only dream of. We don't stand a chance against him. These are not my words. These are the words of Yahweh. And Yahweh always keeps his word. Yeah? Well, it's easy for you to send me and 10,000 unarmed men into battle. I'll tell you something, lady. The only way I'm going to do this is if you go with me. You're a prophet of Yahweh, who have his favor. And I refuse to do this unless you're right by my side. Listen, Barak, I'm not a good luck charm, nor am I a warrior, but I will go with you because the Lord will give us victory. And one more thing, because of the way you were handling this, this honor will not be yours. The Lord will hand Sisera over to a woman. Of this you can be sure. <clears throat> really? Well, Miss Warrior Judge, I'd change clothes if I were you. It's going to be a long road, and we have a lot of work to do.
Meanwhile, under Sisera's command, Jabin's grip on the region grew stronger, forcing the Kenites into an unholy alliance with the Canaanites. Oh no! Heber! You double-crossing weasel! You and your treaties! Oh, this will ensure our safety, my dear. The Canaanites will show a special favor, my dear. What camel did you fall off of? The Canaanites are heavily armed. We are not. What else was I supposed to do? You want us to join the slave ranks of our Jewish kinsmen? I think not. We have always been a free people. We come and go as we please. We survive by our wit and cunning. And now, we are the most hated of all the tribes in Canaan. We're looked upon as traitors. Jail, you're wearing me out. You care too much about what your people think. You Israelites like the cunning of the Canaanites. But rest assured, my dear, one day when your life is spared by an angry Canaanite, you'll thank me for making this treaty. And it'll be worth all the pain you have suffered. Mark my words. those people and what's going on are you all right your cheeks look flushed did God speak to you again he did what did he tell you and why are you wearing my armor and dagger I'm going with General Barak to gather an army of 10,000 men from the tribes of Zebulun and Naphtali and then we're off to Mount Tabor Barak won't fight Sisera without me fight Sisera you don't know anything about fighting you'll be killed if anyone in this family is going to fight, it will be me. You can't go. You're a wife, a mother even. I'm also a judge, a leader of our people, a prophetess of the living God whose word I must obey. Lapidoth, please don't make this any harder than it has to be. Yahweh has spoken. I know that the hand of the Almighty is on you. I see it every day, the way you judge your people and the way you care about them. I just want you to be careful, that's all. God is just. He will keep his word. I must go now. I can't keep Barak waiting any longer. Yeah, oh, fight. Come on, fight! 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 fight. fight. Come on! Fight. Fight. Come on, get fight. us! Go, Barak! Come on! Girl, Come on, get, get him! him. Get him. Come hug your mother. She's going away on business. The Lord's business. Go run and play. I just want you to know this wasn't my idea. Oh, yes, it was. But don't worry about her. As long as I'm around, she'll be perfectly safe. I won't let anything happen to her. Bayrek, forget something? Like sport? In the weeks that followed, Barak and Deborah gathered 10,000 men from the tribe of Naphtali and Zebulun, along with men from the tribe of Benjamin and the chiefs of Issachar. They traveled throughout the land, gathering as many as would fight the army of Jabin.
I think you might find useful. And what useful news might a canine dog have for me today? Even a dog who is loyal to his master is rewarded. I will be the judge of what your news is worth. Now speak or I'll have your tongue cut out. Bayrak has gathered an army and he's encamped on Mount Tabor and he plans on coming after you. Did you say Bayrak? The Israelite? The one and only. I told you the news was valuable. How many men has he got with him, you toad? Spit it out. Hey, take it easy. I'm on your side, remember? Rumor has it. They number about 10,000. Give or take a 1,000. 10,000? Yeah, but they aren't very well armed, if you ask me. Clubs, knives, arrows, all very primitive. Oh, and get this, he's got some woman up there helping him organize the whole thing. Isn't that a scream? A woman running the show? <laughs> I think the guy's flipped, if you ask me. A woman? Are the Israelites trying to mock me by sending a woman? Let's see if she likes the taste of a can I blade. Men! The Israelites have taken Mount Tabor. Today, we will crush them! Hi, uh, General. You're forgetting something. Oh, yeah. I forgot. in the mud. We can't get them up the hill. No problem! We'll have to destroy them on foot! Let's move! The Canaanites! Look! There they are! They're coming! The horn! Blow the horn! Well, 
ever be. Assemble the troops! Do you have any last words? As a matter of fact, I do. Sure, this is where they were coming? I'm positive. like lightning. <coughs> I need some water. <coughs> Poor dear. All I have is some warm milk. Lie down. You need to rest. You're hurt.
brought you some more milk. If anyone comes by here, you haven't seen me, understand? If there's one thing you can be sure of, it's my loyalty. To God. We're looking for a Canaanite general named Sisera. He's inside. See for yourself. Yahweh always keeps his word. The Lord will hand Sisera over to a woman. Of this you can be sure. Something really big. Let's go! Honey, I'm <laughs> Under the leadership of Deborah and Barak, God subdued Jabin, king of Hazor, and the hand of the Israelites grew stronger and stronger against him until he was finally destroyed. Here they come! Here they come! like Sisera. But yes. may those who love you shine as brightly as the sun at dawn. Yeah! Then the land had rest for 40 years. 